Hello, YouTube. I am playing the demo for Radio the Universe. This game has been in production for a very long time, and I have been following it for a very long time. There was a Kickstarter many, many years ago, and the, the developer has been working on it uh, <laughs> quite a while. And now there's finally a playable demo. Uh, full disclosure, I played this last night. <laughs> I played this all the way through last night. And I was recording, but I goofed up my audio uh, and my VC face real bad. <laughs> So we're going to play through it again here. Uh, unfortunately, we're not getting my uh, initial reactions, but that's OK. Look at this pixel art here. First thing I want to point out to you guys is look at this Doppler effect that we've got on all of our graphics here. Like, look at this pillar. On one side, it's slightly more blue, and on the other side, it's slightly more orange. That's a very neat visual thing. All right. You play this game, you move around with the arrow keys, and you do character actions using WAS. So the control scheme is slightly unorthodox, but you'll get used to it. I did. I'll probably have to get used to it again. So I'm going to be trying to point out some little details here and there as we progress through the areas. Look at this. Um, you've got these candles here. You've also got these vines going up the walls. There's like some foliage here in this area that looks to be made of some kind of stone or concrete. Ugh, the boogers are not ever going to let go of me, I think. Look at this um, background here. There's something real big in the background there. And now the game's teaching us here about how we can jump around. When you are stand <clears throat> standing at the edge of something you can jump from, a little area will light up that shows you where you can jump to. You can do that diagonally and in the four normal directions. I really like the vibe that the game has, what it does with colors. Uh, yeah, face crates. This is a little tutorial. Just showing you that you can go up and down, too. You got this bronze color, but that's like the only color on screen right now. You got bronze, and then you've got everything else as being like a gray or almost gray color. Very cool. Over. Yep, look at that. You don't jump, like, straight through the air. There is an arc. Like, you can't... Um, it's not an air dash. Love that graffiti on the wall there. Ooh, right. Yes, we got a print. <laughs> we gotta run away from that. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Get down there. <laughs> Little beetles here, but they're just gonna run past them for now. <laughs> Don't want to get got. Oh. All right, that door shuts behind us. Fine. This is your main melee attack. It's this wide arc wing. Here, if you hold the button for just a sec. You get a piercing attack, like a thrust. It's like the Claymore from Dark Souls 1. <laughs> That's immediately what I thought of when I played this the first time. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is the, the Claymore moveset. That's your R1 and your R2. You're going to have to do a lot of dodging in this game's combat. Uh, not so much right there, but you'll see. Pretty soon I'll have to be uh, evasive and careful and all those things that <laughs> I have trouble with.
Don't talk during the cutscene. That's the rule on Bimby's world. <laughs> so that that's definitely some kind of backstory for our main character here, though I don't have any idea what it means as of right now. This game calls uh, two other medias into mind. Um, firstly, Hellsinker. Uh, but secondly, and I didn't think of this last night, it, it reminds me of Blame a little bit, too. You're like a robot person. I think... I speculate the main character is some kind of android or cyborg. Um, exploring this sort of... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's... My throat is, is doomed. <laughs> exploring this sort of ruined city-like area. This... I think this did used to be some kind of city. Oh, wait, did I miss this before? Oh, is this a phone booth? Network services. Network is offline. 4 billion 290... Wow. Minutes. 4 billion some minutes. Please stay on the line. Hang up. Yep. That's a phone booth, right? And you can see, like, um, some signs over there. Almost looks like road signs. So this is definitely some kind of city or, you know, some sort of urban area that people did used to live in at some point. But there's these rogue machines. They, they appear rogue. We don't know for certain. Um, and there is, ooh, uh, some nature reclaiming the area. Powered enemies drop XP when killed with exactly zero hit points. You don't want to overkill them. You want to get them exactly down to zero. Normal swings always do two damage. And your uh, power attacks... Oh, don't do it there. Oh! Whoops. <laughs> Normal swings always do two damage. And your uh, heavy attack always does three damage so that's how you deal with uh odd numbers you whap him like that for this guy you got to do a normal and then a, a heavy Ooh, i'm goofing it though i'm not doing great here <laughs> your main character starts your protagonist excuse me starts with uh only a couple hit points you do have to be careful here. Can't fumble. That. Uh, and, you know, if you've been watching me, you know that I am very greedy when I play video games. I'm not careful. Uh, <laughs> I try to do things in sort of, you know, cheesy, extremely risky ways. Ooh. Okay, now see, I've, I've screwed myself here. That one can't be, uh, you can't get XP from him. Because there's, as far as I know, the, the player character does not have a means of dealing one point of damage. Now you can get these guys to shoot each other. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't do any good for you. Now we're being told to run. <laughs> We don't know why the protagonist is here. We just know that they are and that they're trying to do something. Presumably, they're trying to do something here. Look at the way this game uses uh, lighting. Like you can see that there is sort of a, a bloom effect on the top of those boxes and our player character a little bit here. I think that's really neat. Now here, this room is really important. I did not understand what this was last night, but now I know what this is. This is a new weapon. This is a firearm. It's like a shotgun. Takes a few seconds to reload. Can't do it all the time. And it shoots very fast. There's, there's basically no delay between pressing your shoot key and the gun going off. You never run out of ammo. Uh, you just have to wait for a reload. Like, you don't permanently run. Ooh, okay. There you go.
Oh, okay. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, now the game is teaching you. You gotta. You can shoot diagonally here. You get your bullets back. There you go. Try to put what we learned into practice here. Dodge that. Now these guys are the weird ones. You can get them to shoot each other, but that does two points of damage. So you still can't get XP from them that way. These guys alternate shooting at you. Whoop, got him. Okay, just one of them's not too bad. That little, um, that little meter there shows you exactly when the enemy's gonna attack. It's pretty nice. I like it a lot. Ooh. Ah! Got zapped. And the heavy attack actually goes off a lot quicker than it seems like it does. You'd think you'd have to charge it for longer, but it's really only about a second. Maybe half a second. All right, one down. I only have two hit points, and I think those bullets will do two hit points. So I basically don't ever want to get hit. If I get hit, I'm done. These guys move. You know, in this, they attack in this pattern right here. <laughs> I'm focusing to try and, uh, Get through this without having to restart. There you go. No problem. That took me a while uh, last night, but you know, it's not near so late as it was. <laughs> I haven't actually had dinner yet. That's the next thing I'm going to do as soon as I'm done. Got to make dinner. We can jump around here, but there's not really. Any... Wait, can you go this way? No, I think that I think that marker is telling me I'll die if I do that. Now, this is an elevator. Is there a different path here instead of the elevator? Doesn't look like. The sprite work in this game is phenomenal. This is just fantastic to play. I love the lighting. I, I know it's not technically lighting, but you know what I mean. And here you can see, you know, some like Blade Runner-esque uh, digital light up billboards. So this is definitely a place where there used to be people. And, you know, as recently as not not super re what am i trying to say i'm trying to say that like it was recent enough for uh this stuff to still be running here's our first sort of crossroads give me one moment Excuse me. You are so lucky I can mute myself. <laughs> All right. Open the door. Yes. Might just stop and look at the areas a little bit. You know, just look at the graphics in front of me because this is really nice. I, I've said that before, but I can't overstate how much I love the look of this. You can use these little, uh, almost coin-operated looking telephones to spend the XP we've collected. So this is kind of like, like an upgrade tree. At the first level here, we have two things we've already bought. Um, leg hydraulics, the dash ability, and the carbon blade that we've been attacking with. Uh, you can buy more hit points at these spots. Now, can I buy this? Quick draw, dash plus melee. Attack does not overkill. Now, does that mean you can use it against enemies with one hit point? I'm not sure. Now, look at this. 
must be adjacent to enabled upgrade. Means that we have to buy this first. Look at all of those visual effects. This looks so cool. Like, you might not get what this is, you know, if um, you're like a, a zoomer. But a lot of this looks like a VHS tape. Um, it, it You know, it looks like some analog media. Very cool. There's some dial-up sounds here. There's a lot of chunk chunk sort of machinery sounds. Very cool. This is an active ability right here. Can I get to this yet? No, not at all. Okay, we'll have to show off the actives later. Wait, can I go up here? Right, you need a key to open. Now, if you are a zoomer who um, <laughs> hasn't used any like really old computers, well, I don't know. No, 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 no. Young people still might have seen, like, their computer's BIOS menu or something. You know? That's what this text looks like. <laughs> Very computery. But, like, old school computery. Not, not like an iPhone. Oh, and there's a ladder here. Does this go somewhere? No, that door is also locked. Another locked door. Now, these green boxes, green boxes are special. We're not going to break this one just yet. Watch what happens when I smash these. Experience flies everywhere. <laughs> Gotta get it before it disappears. Okay. I didn't, I don't think I got all of it, but... Oh, a bit more? Ah, that's not the sprint button. Okay. Using WASD is a little bit awkward, but I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. Are these renewable? No, they're not. This one I haven't broken yet. There you go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Very cool. Is that my doorbell? Not my doorbell. Dave's doorbell. Ooh! Okay, so this guy... This guy is a little bit difficult at first. Uh, to sort of connoiter what he's doing. Ooh, wait, I haven't seen this move. Alright. We shoots a chain into the wall, and then he starts bouncing around. Mm. Mac. Yeah, he's a bit tough. You gotta dash right away. Yeah. I'm not the best at these kinds of games. See there, that's me. Oh. That's me being greedy. I keep... Okay, you gotta dodge right away this time, Bimby. I th yeah, he can shoot the grapple only in those four directions. So if you're standing diagonal to him, he won't get you. Uh, oh, that was only ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. I play a lot of games with this kind of combat, but I never got good at it. <laughs> I could kill him with the gun if I'm patient. Maybe you're supposed to do that, I don't know. Okay. Ooh. A few more hits. Hmm. Excuse me, I'm just... My nose is killing me. Ah! Stop it, Bimby. Because that's my fault. That's not the game's fault. That's me. Uh, not paying close attention. <laughs> Killing him with the gun is, like, the faster way to... Not faster. No, it's the slower way to do it. It is probably safer. Sometimes you can get him while he's swinging around. Focus. I'm going to focus this... I'll focus next time. I'll focus next time. Okay, 
I'm gonna shut up. Pay attention. There you go. That's how you do it. Not really, because I still got hit. But, uh... <laughs> Ooh, it's tough. Kind of tough. Wow, easy owie. Okay, now these boxes are flashing. Is that... If I smash them like this... Wait a minute. Ooh, is there like a little notch I can stand in now? There you go. There you go. Oh! <laughs> I don't know that there's a penalty for dying. I don't think there is. As far as I can tell, there isn't. Which is good. Other than having to redo the room, of course. But you know, there's not like, um, you drop your XP somewhere. Thing. Going way up here. But, you know what? Not but. Um. <laughs> my brain is so fried right now. You can go, we're, we've gone a long way up, but that doesn't mean we have to be scared of falling. You only die from falling if you land in a bottomless pit. If you know the pit has a bottom, like this, then you can open the box and get your treasure. Got a key. I'm not 100% sure what that key is for. Uh, I don't think I figured out if... You can use any key in any lock you want to, or if keys go to specific locks. You'd think it was the latter, because otherwise you might be able to soft lock yourself. It also seems like that key lit up a certain... Gotcha. A certain spot on that grid, on that screen. But maybe that's like a specific key, and it's just telling us you got this key. I don't know. Now these pointy platforms, these actually have physics to them. See that? You can't stand flat on them, so you slide around a bit. Okay, so I think... Yeah, you hack one of those. 
sword and smack this. There you go. All of the rest of this is kind of a misdirection. It could be introducing that type of platform, though. In an otherwise safe environment. Good. Got him. <laughs> oh, this guy. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I'll have an easier time with him than I did the uh, the chain boss. Careful. I love the way this game telegraphs attacks. Yeah, gotcha. Get out of here. This room is really cool. This is one of my favorite rooms. I love these robot, like not robot, but like these, I don't know if they're metal or if they're stone, but these big heads, right? Oh, we don't want to jump down there. They look really important. Like, you know, they mean something when you walk in here. Uh, of course, we don't know what it is yet. <laughs> Where did I go from? Can I jump up to this? I can't break that. Okay, yeah, I, I'm being stupid. There's a ladder right there. Here we are. This is this is another really, really nice room. That's a box. I remember that I couldn't get to that. Now here's a little puzzle. EXP crates. This is, this is like a church or something, right? So those heads seem like they have some kind of sacred or spiritual purpose. Or meaning, maybe. Field will block one hit. Third melee attack in... That, maybe. Yeah. Now here's another phone booth. I think the game saves every time you use one of these phones. They definitely act as respawn point. Or no, no they don't. I'm getting confused. Anyways, this is what I was talking about before right here. This is an active ability. It's called uh, ID equals active dot regenerate. Regenerate. <laughs> now, I hold space. You can see that up top, on my W key, I have an ability. Doing that restores your hit points. But you've only got one of those until you visit a phone booth again and recharge it. Now, if I take the other path too, I, I might as well just to show it all. Yeah. Two more hit points. What is this? Active Discharge, right, that's a weapon that goes in your active slot. Firearms, fast look. Uh, one additional firearm. Okay, go ahead and buy that. We don't have a second firearm. And we're out of XP. All right, so now the game's telling you. Um, oh no, it's not telling me anything. Like you can switch like this. I'm gonna try to use the discharge because I didn't before. It's like that. You have several uses of this. Right, okay. Ah, I got sl Don't do that. Just do what you know how to do. Um, base. So this guy is like the other one but he kind of traps you in these rings.
Oh, yeah. They're very, they're very difficult to avoid. <laughs> well, I don't know. I have a hard time with them. Because you got to think about that and also the stomp. Now, does he... Ooh, okay, yeah. Might as well stay out of it, right? There's no time pressure here. We do need to get damage in, but there's no time limit. Don't have to go fast here. Ah, okay, I'm I'm half dead. Let's activate my heal here. Those hit points back. Very nice. Ooh. Oh wait, how did he take an uneven amount of damage there? Uh-oh. Not sure how that happened. But we can fix that. This. Ah, got him. Get out of here. Okay. To recharge. Get a different shield, buddy. I don't know how that melee enhancement actually doesn't work. Now this thing is pretty cool. Look at this. What's this? I don't know what this is. <laughs> it looks like there's some kind of transmission. Oh, I missed this level. dream. play that again yeah uh, I'll I'll I might check that again on my own time oh yeah I left my cursor here and I didn't know I could click on this thing hmm so there's some kind of I don't know that's just a little taste of lore that you know we can't fully understand from this demo but you know go ahead and rewatch that as many times as you do I'll look at it again later I don't remember what I did to solve this puzzle last time. Gotta get to that switch to uh, make that door open. I don't think I did this. Doesn't seem to work, does it? I don't know, maybe you get there from a different path. Is there a different door we can take? Yes, there is. Ooh. Okay, be careful. Buddy. Oh, okay, we screwed ourselves there. Yeah, that bullet bug freaked me out. Because it looks like a bullet bill, right? It charges at you, it's got a round head. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Alright, whatever. We don't need upgrades. Yeah, see, the enemies have friendly fire in this game. Can make it difficult. But, ah! 
You know what I mean. There you go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't matter how much health they have. That dash melee attack will still get you XP. That's cool. That one also aggroed? He is, but I don't think it'll get me. Ah, okay, that's not good. Right, right. You can't jump on those. You gotta make a path over here, maybe? No, those aren't breakable. Wait a minute. Hey. Sure. Can't shoot the switch. That doesn't work. No, okay, there, there has to be an actual way up. It's not just that. Wait a minute. There? Nothing. Nope, not a diagonal jump either. Maybe there's a different door. Take. No, there's over here. Like way back here. Doesn't look like it though. Well, no, we never flipped this switch, so it's still yeah. really not doing that on purpose it's just you know I had to jump over here to over there. Oh, now it breaks. Okay, now it breaks. See that? It actually didn't break before. Whatever. Okay. I'll do a little bit of trimming in it. That's obviously a box. this. Look at that. It's an agile yellow robot with the same sword that we have. Isn't that spooky? I'm not even going to speculate on what this thing like. Oh, I, I don't think I'm even going to speculate on what this guy like means or represents. 
But, you know, it's it's kind of spooky to see, isn't it? Okay, it that that attack is aimed. It hasn't decided where it's gonna where it's gonna stab yet uh, when it starts the attack. Gotcha! No damage. Now these doors are open. Get to that treasure box. Oh! Not like that, dummy. key it looks like those keys are sort of specific now that's a gun bug that's not a bullet bug Nice, doing good, doing good, Bimby. Yeah, fantastic. Oh wait, did I screw that last one up? I don't know, whatever. Open those in a second. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Not dead. Uh, definitely don't want to be down here, though. Oops. <laughs> These are two, uh, like, gun crates, right? Two gun cabinets. This is a different gun. Which equipment? Base A. So now we have, we have our shoddy. And we have this. A red dot sniper rifle. I want to try to use this thing some more. Or, you know, yeah, more. Because I didn't use it very much last night. Much longer reload. I don't know how much damage it does. No idea. Now we can hit this switch. Have that for later. This guy. That was one damage. One, two, five. Oh, it... Okay, it's not just a, it's like a dart rifle, not like a sniper. Huh, that's really interesting. So I could like tag this guy with it and then move on. Now, how much can this do? Three damage? Six, oh no, it just doesn't show you if you're too far away. Interesting. Yeah, it does make it a little bit hard to get perfect kills, though. Huh. Cool idea. 
There's a treasure box somewhere, isn't there? There's this. Kind of like treasure. Usually treasure boxes have a sort of like lint. To I don't see that. We do need to find a way out of here, though. I love the uh, like the 3D aspect of this game's two world. It's so cool. I don't know if it's been done before. I don't know. It's the first time I'm seeing it. Now we learn a new mechanic. And use your dash to get through red attacks. Oh, hit already. Oh, no. Ladder. Oh, right, right. The game's telling me you gotta run away like this. No, it's not. I don't remember what to do. Oh, oh, you dash through to the other side of the room. I'm a little slow. A little slow. Wait, oops. No, we're okay. We're back here. We'll check that out. Cool. Checking to see if I could jump over that gap. All right. The have some XP to spend. These are two. These are more uses of regenerate. Already enabled. What's this? More hit points. Let's see what that is. Carry one additional firearm. Okay, there's no third firearm in this demo. Oh, we can't buy anything else. Okay. We could have bought this instead, but I had to see what was over here. <laughs> That's okay, though. Wait, I guess I'm kind of guessing here that this is the room I think it is. Oh no, do I have to go all the way around? I think I do. There you go. I killed a few more powered robots on my way back here, so it seems like if you wanted to, you could maybe get that whole tree unlocked in the demo, but I don't really feel like I need to. Oh! Well, that's one way to die in a boss battle. Okay. Her thing. I believe that I saw these three heads in like a, a Tumblr post or maybe um, a screenshot on Twitter a while ago. Like this boss is pretty cool. Though I will say I do have some understanding of how it works now. So I might, I won't have near as much trouble as I did last night. Okay, first head down. That scream is so cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, that red attack is still gonna get me sometimes. Eh. It's not that much damage. Okay. Oh, oh, I slipped off the edge, didn't I? Bummer. You know what? Oh, wasted that. Base. We're gonna try using this. Oh, it doesn't do more damage. It just does area damage. Okay. The shotgun kind of already does that, doesn't it? I don't know.
trying to kill bosses with like having uh like getting their hp exactly down to zero reminds me a little bit of another uh metroidvania game Ooh, called uh momodora 4 or like it's it's the fourth momodora game uh revere under the moonlight i think is what it's called that has a similar mechanic where if you kill a boss without getting hit you get a special item like um you know like an accessory equipment or something and several years ago uh when i was taking college classes i actually killed i think every boss in that game perfectly except for the last boss which i hadn't oh no <sighs> serves me right for trying to small talk <laughs> Game demands attention, full attention. I kind of want to do that again and like post the video on YouTube. I don't know if I'd have commentary on it, but I am pretty proud of having been able to do that. So I kind of want to show that off. Seems like the um, the enhanced sword swing. Oh, oh, Derpo. It, ha it seems like it has an effect. Right? Doesn't it seem like it does a little bit of a, a fire thing, maybe? Maybe that's just a, an effect on this boss's face. Like, I'll, I'll s There was like a little bit of fire on one of its eyes. You probably know. Like there, yeah. Maybe that's just because it's... <laughs> maybe that's just because it's low on health. Give me my health back. Gotcha. Yeah, I think that was just because it had taken a lot of damage. Never mind. There you go. There you go. We're doing good. Stay out of that. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that really hurt. Ooh, that really hurt. Okay, just one now. The blue one is, is the least dangerous. You have to make an effort here to get it right, though. It's kind of cool how when the, the head opens up, it turns into like a... Oh, my God. <laughs> turns into a spider face. trigger that and then jump out of the way. Yeah, there you go. You can't put that off too much. Oh. Oh, that one does friendly fire to the others with the red thing. Oh, that's why I wasn't getting perfect kills. Okay. Oh, don't charge your... T hey, dodge the red. There you go, dummy. Good job, Brain Dead. You made it through. Up, up, up. Upsy. Oh. That's me pressing the keys wrong. <laughs> Jump it this time. Here you go. Ooh, very good, very good. We're doing good. I am sweating though. I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> gotcha. Not perfect, but I did get him. Oh, did that restore hit points? Maybe it didn't. No, I'm probably a man. Yeah. Careful. Oh, 
Yes. Oh wait, we can just uh, blast him. Yeah. Out of that box. Oh my goodness. Got him. Yeah. Need a rest. Administrator ID. Oh, so we killed an administrator of the area, maybe? An area boss is called the administrator. Cool. And this is an elevator with a little uh, pressure plate in the middle. Oh, there's, a, there's an exit sign. There's some swinging lanterns. And it looks like our protagonist is having a problem. Took some damage from that fight. First, though. Can we check this? No. Those are those monitors are glitching out. There's nothing on them to read. Okay, up we go. Oh, down. All right, it's down this time. 50-50 shot. It... These doors are still shut. Oh, we went through the number one last time. Does that mean I go through the number two? Anything else? No, this is the end of the demo. I guess you'd go through the two next. Whew. Very nice. Very cool. I am looking forward to the game, for sure. The wait's been worth it. Well, yeah, the wait will be worth it, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, go check this game out on Steam. Demo's free. Uh, wishlist it if you think this looks cool. Very cool. I think it's very cool. I'm dying. I'm going to sign off. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.